Yo what's up guys it's Atrix here one of the biggest updates of official Citra emulator android has just released and it is going to be in the nightly version of official Citra android so here you'll be able to see that in the build 2049 of Citra nightly there have been lot of changes in terms of UI as well as in terms of performance compatibility and bug fixes. This update hasn't been launched on play store yet as all the other official Citra android updates will need to update it manually from their official website. Anyways, I'll just go ahead and tap on get started and immediately you'll be able to notice that this is actually Yuzu emulator style UI. When you start setting up the emulator, you get a similar UI and that's because the developers of Yuzu emulator are also the developers of Citra emulator. They came up with Citra, afterwards they created Yuzu. So that's the main reason why Citra and Yuzu will now have similar UI and also it has lot of new support such as uh, ability to add custom GPU drivers in 3D simulation that was never heard of before but team Citra have now made it possible. So once you finish setting up the official Citra Android, in the bottom section just like Yuzu emulator Android, you will get an games category, a search category where you will be able to see recently played, recently added etc and also be able to search the games. If we just go ahead and tap on the three buttons here, you will literally see Yuzu emulator style options UI where you get the settings, system files, CIA as well as GPU driver manager. If we scroll down to theme, you can just go ahead and enable material view. I don't really like the theme of this Citra emulator Android. It was pretty cool when it was orange but now it's just plain white theme with blue accents which is not really appreciated by me. Uh, to be honest, let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about it. Anyways, you can also add your Mesa Turnip Adreno driver. So let me quickly update the driver. I have now added the latest Mesa Turnip Adreno driver version 24 revision 11. So with the help of Mesa Turnip Adreno drivers, almost all of the graphical issues which you might be facing while emulating 3DS games will now be fixed. That's a huge improvement. Anyways, now we'll go to settings inside debug. We have new 3DS mode, CPU clock speed, etc. So you can set CPU clock speed all the way up to 400%. Which is pretty cool. New 3ds mode, make sure to enable this option. Make sure to also enable JIT and also hardware shader. And if VSync has been enabled, then make sure to disable this option. Once that has been done, we'll go back. Let's go to general. Limit speed percentage, make sure to disable this. Now, as I'm using and custom configuration, you'll be able to see that limit speed percentage is set to 9999%, which means that we'll be getting more than 60 FPS. Anyways, let's go to graphics where we have the main settings such as graphics API. Now, if you guys have an Android version 10 or above, make sure to set the graphics API to Vulkan. If you have Android version 8 or above, use the OpenGL ES API. Also, if you are facing some crashing issues or graphical issues, use the OpenGL ES. But other than that, Vulkan should provide you the best amount of performance possible and graphics quality even on Mali GPU Android devices. Make sure to enable SPIR with shader generation or synchronous shader compilation. Afterwards, internal resolution, you can go all the way up to 10x in this brand new update but we'll be only setting it up to 4x that's pretty reasonable for a device with snapdragon 8 gen 2 processor though i do recommend you guys to set internal resolution according to your device specification make sure to disable linear filtering uh, it might cause your game to lag and also enable accurate multiplication if you are facing graphical issues and only if you are facing them if not you don't need to use it if you are using a custom graphics driver Anyways, let's scroll down. Uh, we have a synchronous custom texture loading enabled and that's going to be it for the best settings of Citra emulator Android. As we saw, there are a lot of new stuff added. With that being said, now we can officially try out our game. For today's video, we'll be testing out Pokemon Omega Ruby and let's see how well does it actually work on this latest table build of official Citra Android. I was pretty confused because the loading time was a bit unexpected. It took almost 5 to 10 seconds to start the game. But nonetheless, right here, you'll be able to see an entire new UI. The new UI for additional settings looks pretty cool, not gonna lie at all. And if you notice, then we also get the save state feature right here, save states. Just go ahead and tap on it. You can either save your state or load your state. You also get landscape screen layout option. You can swap screens. Other than that, we have lock driver, cheats, and the button to pause emulation, overlay options, amiibo. Well, those are all unnecessary options. Anyways, what the heck is happening? I'm unable to choose the language for some reason. I think my game just glitched. We'll try reopening the game to see if it works or not. But I'm not happy with the loading time after this update. It just takes so long to load the game. And this time our touchscreen input is being recognized. 
But where the heck is show FPS option? Like right here, there used to be an option known as show FPS. I can't really see it anymore. If we click on settings, it just opens our normal uh, settings. So that's pretty unfortunate. Citra emulator team doesn't want you to know how much FPS you might be getting. Uh, while emulating 3ds games but nonetheless from the amount of speed which i am seeing while emulating this game we can assume that we are getting almost 60 to 100 fps the update changes the entire theme of citra emulator android adds new features as well as support for custom gpu drivers and also some internal improvements uh, vulkan api has been finally completely fixed so there will be no graphical issues and it should provide you with better performance so let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about this brand new version of Citra Emulator Android and in terms of gameplay right here you will be able to see that the game is running flawlessly and it shouldn't really cause any crashing issues or even uh, like graphical issues if you are emulating it on a low end Android device. So be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, turn on all notifications as I upload similar videos on my channel. Thanks for watching, see you guys next time, goodbye.